As you probably know by now, support for Windows 10 ends on October the 14th, 2025. That's about five weeks away as of the recording of this video. Microsoft has implemented the extended security update program that provides updates for an additional year, but you have to sign up for it. Today, I'm gonna walk you through the free method. Stick around. So, as you probably know, there are three ways to enroll in the ESU program. You can pay $30 for an additional year of support. You can trade in Microsoft points if you have them, or you can use the free option, which we're going to explore today. I made a previous video about the Extended Security Update program, and I'll link that below if you need more details. But today, we're walking through the free signup process. Now, there are several prerequisites before you can enroll. And the first is that your version of Windows 10 must be activated. If it's not, you can get an activation key for less than 20 bucks from today's sponsor. Check it out. Are you using an unregistered version of Windows 11? Then you need to check out keyspan.com. Keyspan offers a wide range of products, including Windows 11, Windows 10, and even older versions like Windows 7. Need Office software? They got you covered with keys for Office 2019 and Office 2021. And here's the best part. You can save big with exclusive coupon codes by using my code RKT50 to get 50% off all Windows series. That means you can get Windows 11 Pro for less than $20. But wait, there's more. For Microsoft Office, use my code RKT62 to get a massive 62% off. Buying is super easy. Just add your chosen product key to your cart, apply the coupon code, and pay securely via PayPal or credit card. You'll receive your genuine activation key in no time. Once you have your product key, go back to the activation page, click on change product key, enter the product key you just purchased, and click activate. Be sure to check out keysfan.com. In addition to an activated copy of Windows, you basically have to sell yourself to Microsoft. So I'm gonna do that today just for you. The requirements are simple. You have to sign into a Microsoft account. You have to back up your data to that Microsoft account and you have to have all of the latest updates installed and be on the latest version of Windows 10, which is 22H2. Once all of those are in place, you'll see an additional option on the Windows Update page to enroll in the Extended Security Update program. Now, in the previous video, a lot of you commented that you don't have that option, and that was also the same for me, because this program is being rolled out over time by Microsoft. However, a week ago, when I started on this video, I didn't immediately have that option either. I had to go through and make sure that I had the latest version of Windows 10 installed. I had to be signed in with my Microsoft account, and then I had to go make sure I had all of the latest updates. And then I had to go and sync my data to OneDrive. Even at that point, I didn't immediately have that option to sign up on the update page. But when I checked back a few days later to finish working on the video, I did a quick update and bam, there it was. So once you've completed all of those prerequisites, you'll probably have to wait a couple of days and then you'll see this option to enroll on the update screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump on the computer real quick. Let's go. Real quick. I don't like to be that YouTuber that's constantly asking you to subscribe to the channel. I prefer to provide value in my videos and let you make that decision. But did you know that 92% of the viewers that watch my channel are not subscribed to the channel? Subscribing to the channel is completely free and it tells YouTube to push my video out to more people so I can continue to bring you content on a weekly basis just like this. You don't have to turn on the notifications. I get it, but it would help me out tremendously if you would subscribe. Thank you and let's get back to the video. Okay, so the first thing I would do is go ahead, right click on your start menu, go to settings, go to updates and security, and just see if you already have the option. If you do, it will be right here. It'll say Windows 10 support ends in October 2025. Enroll in extended security and you have the enroll now. If you do not already have this option, then you are missing one of those prerequisites. You need to do all of your updates. Make sure your version of Windows 10 is 22H2. 
And then you need to make sure that you are logged into a Microsoft account. You can go to settings. And you can go to accounts. If the account you have right here has an email address here, then you're on a Microsoft account. If it's a local account, it will say local account. I have the option down here to sign in with the local account instead. If you're signed in with a local account, there'll be an option here to sign in with a Microsoft account instead. So you'll sign in with your Microsoft account. If you don't have one, it'll let you create one as well. So once you're signed into that Windows Microsoft account, the next place we need to go to is right over here to the left under Windows Backup. And then you're gonna come right here and turn on the options to back up your files to OneDrive. Mine's already turned on, so it says, congratulations. Files in your desktop, documents and pictures folders are now backed up and protected by OneDrive. But if that was turned off, it would have the option there to turn that on. And I have all of the other sync options here turned on. Okay, so once you have your Microsoft account logged in, you have the backup files and sync turned on here. I'm gonna go back to updates and security and you need to check for updates. Mine is already up to date as you can see here, but any updates you have, you need to go ahead and get those installed. Get all the updates installed, be logged into a Microsoft account, back up your files to that Microsoft account, then you will get this option here to enroll. So I'm gonna go ahead and click enroll now Enroll in extended security updates to stay protected. Support for Windows 10 ends October 14th. Get extended security updates to keep your Windows 10 device safer. I'm gonna click next. You're eligible to enroll in extended security updates at no extra cost. So I'm going to click the enroll button. Enrolling your device in extended support. You're enrolled in extended security updates through October 13th of 2026. This PC is signed in with my email address. Is enrolled to receive extended security updates. Stay up to date by viewing your device's enrollment status in settings. Oh, suggested, make, your, make sure your PC is fully backed up. No thanks, Microsoft. I'm gonna click done. And you can see over here to the right, it now says your PC is enrolled to get extended security updates. So this computer is good to go through October of 2026 with Windows 10 updates. These are critical updates only, by the way. And again, once you go through and do all these things and check for your updates, just give it a couple days and that will populate. Now, if you're like me, you probably don't like the idea of having to use a Microsoft account or sync your data to Microsoft, but we're just going to do that until the activation has been completed. Then my understanding is we should be able to revert back to a local account, but this is the first time I've enrolled. So we will definitely test that theory and then I'll report back on it. And there you have it. Extended service updates for Microsoft Windows 10 through October of 2026. Drop me a comment below if you were successful and remember if you just did all of the updates and signed into your Microsoft account, it might take a day or two for the enrollment screen to populate. If you just rather upgrade to Windows 11, check out some of the other videos on my page. I have a ton of videos on all the different methods of how to upgrade your Windows 10 computer to Windows 11. If you found value in this video, Please like and share the video, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. It's free, and it tells YouTube to push my videos out to more people. It really does help me grow the channel. Be sure to check out some of these other videos' suggestions, and as always, thank you for watching, and until next time. Okay. No,